I recently updated my Mac to Mac OS Siri, and I'm a uh, web developer. And uh, uh, so this Monday I came to work and tried to log into my one of my servers, and I had got uh, this one. This message is like, oh shit, my keys are not working. SSH keys not working basically, and where I go, I know I have a problems. So if I just have a password problem, you know, it might be I recover that from some some notes, you know, with password I generated. But in this case, I have like uh, disabled password authentication, and and good luck with that. So if Mac OS uh, regenerated my keys. I'm in a big trouble. Basically, I need to physically access my servers uh, to to add a new key. And so, I was a little bit disappointed. I read like uh, 20 different articles uh, on the web, and none of them helped me. Um, so I was looking into how to fix that. It, it is possible that that uh, that keys are still here you know and I might recover that so all my keys and all my setup was that uh, uh, SSH folder yes so look at this and my keys uh, uh, ID DCA so this is a public key this is a this is a private key I looked inside and I looked at the uh, uh, generation date you know and it looked like they were unchanged so that's a good news basically that means uh, Mac is using wrong keys or can't find them for some reason so at least I can copy that to you know old Mac or something and I recover that uh, connection uh, so I was looking them deeper and I found that there is a SSH verbose mode you know which is pretty awesome and so you can uh, turn that on and you'll see what's going on so you'll see w what he's doing exactly where he's connecting you know, what keys he's using and I looked at, uh, at all that stuff initially I was thinking you know maybe he was missing some kind of a software or, or something like that but no and I, I found that basically he's all the time looking for ID RSA not DCA means all the time he's trying to look for ID RSA or different kind of a keys none of them are DCA that is obvious that he's not finding that key and then he is basically using some kind of a default system key so I thought you know maybe that is a, that is a, a simple fix is just rename this private key to one of the keys he's looking you know and maybe by a chance he will be so smart and he will uh, he will basically identify that key as as RSA and will be good so let's try to do that so let's copy our SSH key DCA to SSH same folder and ID RSA yes now let's look and so we have our default keys and we have that new key just basically basically just file we name you know and let's try to connect to our server right now say let's connect to API boom so everything is working that is uh, just a couple of the servers I use and everything is working so basically he's finding that key and identifying automatically as DSA and there is no issues and that saved my I don't know not even a day probably a week of of, of uh, physically going and, and, and trying to talk over providers and fixing that stuff so I hope that helps you as well and uh, have a nice day